And you know, people say, oh, just taking the walk won't help, I can't be bothered. Well, if that's who you're, you're missing the point. You're missing the mark on this one. You know, so many people are down these days. They don't know what to do. No drive, no purpose. Can't really be bothered to do anything. Lying around on the phone, social media, constantly scrolling through, wasting hours, and then wondering why they feel like crap. You know, they eat like crap, they don't work out. Don't know what to turn. You know, that little bit of dopamine, just that little bit of dopamine hit every time you scroll down, just to feel something, just to feel happy for a split second, or whatever, lads, it is sad, okay? That's the unfortunate reality of, you know, where a lot of people are in life. We can know it's, it's a sad situation to be in, but you can get yourself out of that situation. And I know this because I've been, <laughs> I've been there before. You know, not know what to do, not, what, not know, you know, who to turn to, no mentorship, uh, blaming other people for my crappy, sucky life, you know, not taking any responsibility, you know. Oh, my life sucks because of this person or that person, or blah, blah, blah. You know, constantly blaming everyone else, not realizing I was there lying on the bed doing nothing and then wondering why I've got no results or not got the things that I want out of life, you know. Why my current situation is so bad and I can't do anything to change it. Well, if you don't do anything to change it, you know, nothing will change. Lads, it honestly got to a point where you reach like a certain threshold where you're just like, you're in such a, a crap situation, right? You're like, I've had enough, <laughs> you know. Something needs to change, I need to change because nothing will change if I continue doing the same thing that I've been doing for the past, you know, past week, month, year. Do you know what I mean? It has to get to that point where you get so sort of like frustrated and angry at yourself, you know? You direct it inwards and it's just like, you just kind of like snap out of it and you're just like, all right, I gotta sort this out. You know, I gotta cut the excuses out. So you get to a point where you're just like, you know, this is all BS, I need to, I need to change, I need to do something, I need to wake up, okay? Wake up from this, this slum, this cave, I need to walk out there and, you know, do something about it. You know, when I got up and actually started working out, you know, making a routine, turn it up, turn it up. You know what that does? You know, you feel better about yourself. The endorphins start running. And that's no matter what you're doing. You can go for a run, you can lift some weights, or you just go hiking or do an activity, but you get the body moving. You know, when you move that body, the mind gets, gets more clear, you know, gets better, you know, a more positive outlook on life. You feel a lot better in the current moment. You feel more than controlling when you, when you overcome something in the gym as well. You lift weights, you know, you push that extra rep, you know, you go until fade. You didn't think you could do it, but then you do it. What does that do? Builds the confidence, builds the self-belief. I you know I overcome this challenge, this thing. You start to realize you can overcome challenge in the outside world as well. If anyone is struggle, struggle in, you know, with being down or whatever, you know, mental health issues. Guys, I think fitness can help everyone. I think fitness can save people. I think. It can actively save people's lives. I genuinely think that. You know, a lot of people be like, oh, how could I do that? Da, da, da. Oh, I can't be asked. Da, da. Well, just start one step, then take the next step, then take the next step, you know? You know, at the start, it doesn't have to be, you know, super intensive, but you can start to build up, do you know what I mean? And then over time, you'll start to like it. You'll feel better, feel more confident, and that carries over into other areas of life, you know? Your career, your dating life, and why? Because that confidence comes through. The last fitness can get you through dark time. It doesn't just build your confidence and your self-belief, okay? It's like when you're going through like terrible situations, like and one for me, I mean last year was probably like one of the worst years of my life. If dad died, grandfather died, dogs died, it's like it all hits you in one, you know? That's, what's that saying? When it rains, it pours it. Man, <laughs> it poured. And one way, you know, which I stayed focused was the gym because, you know, you can only imagine you just, you're going into the, um, you know, you're walking to the hospital, into, into the cancer, cancer ward, you know, people lying there, your dad's lying there, you're dying, you know, he is dying, you know, actively dying, looks all frail, lost way. You know, I can break people, but you can't let these, you know, challenges in life, you can't let them break you, you know. As tough as they are, you must know that you can overcome it. You know, and during that time, what really helped for me was the gym. And why is that? Because it was the one thing that I could control. I could show up, I could control the weights, I could control the reps, I could control how much I did. I could control, you know, pushing past failure, overcome that challenge. It was the one thing in life you can control, you know, when the outside world is full of chaos, uncertainty, you know, uncontrollable factors. That's one thing you can control. That's one thing I could control. And this is one thing you can control in your life as well. If everything else is around, you know, if you walk through hell and everything else is burning, you can control what you do, you keep moving forward. You know, there are things you can control, actively control yourself. Instead of looking around, pointing the finger at everyone else, oh, this, this, this. What can you, what can you do? 
perspective shift. What can you control? How can you adapt? Yes, the situation sucks, but how do we overcome it? How do we move, you know, how do we put our best foot forward? You know, in situations like that, people say, oh, does, the, does the pain ever go away? No, I don't think the pain ever goes away. I just think you just learn how to deal with it. And you can use that pain, frustration, and anger in a direction, a good manner, you know, a positive direction to push you forward in life. You know, for example, in the gym, you can listen to that angry music or just feel down, but then you use that, use that energy to lift more weight, to do better, to improve each time. You can use it as an outlet, okay? You don't have to keep it all pent up and built, you know, built up inside because that's not good, okay? During those tough times, you go and then you set yourself a goal, okay? And why? Because it keeps you focused as well something to work towards. It could be a physique transformation. You know, you want to build muscle or maybe you want to shred down, you want to lose weight, look a certain way, you know, for the vanity in the mirror. Because it not only helps you, you know, the gym not only helps, you know, the way you look, but the, the mindset. It's not just the vanity in the mirror, okay? You go in there and you give it, you know, everything you've got, you stay busy and you stay focused, okay? That is how you get through it. And honestly, lads, you can overcome any challenge, you know, life throws at you. You've got to build that discipline. You've got to get, build that mindset. No matter you know what challenge gets thrown at you, you just know you can overcome it. I'm not naive as well. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's going to absolutely suck. Suck ass, okay? When you wake up, you're not going to feel like, oh, our fitness has just solved all my problems. <laughs> no. There's going to be days when you're dragging ass. You can't be ass. It's raining. This has happened. This, that, the other. Oh, you got rejected that day, but whatever. It's going to suck, but you can get through it. I just know so many other people are going through like tough, crappy situations as well. It's not just you, so you can talk to others about it. Do you know what I mean? Fitness is just an amazing outlet to get, get your mind right and just keep pushing forward and staying focused on something th through, through times when you're stuck in the trenches and it just feels like nothing's going right. When you get through it and you not only get through it, but you overcome it, you know, you build that, you build that confidence, you build that stability. You can kind of be that person for others and, you know, other people can turn to them because why you're, you're, you're rock solid. You've trained yourself, you're mentally strong. You set the situation, but you've overcome the situation. Nothing can break you down, okay? The only person standing in your way is yourself. You know, I've learned that over the years. You know, instead of pointing the finger, we look inwards. What can we do in this current situation? What can we control? You know, and what can we use to our advantage? You know, what, what resources do we have? And we use everything we got to overcome that. Lads, just remember you're stronger than what you think, okay? And if I can go through these tough situations and fitness has helped me so much, I think it can help you do the same. Why not do that for yourself? Do it for the ones you love. Actually start, take that first step. That's all it takes. Because the second step is, is a lot easier. I hope this brought you some value and if you enjoyed this one, why not watch another one? I'm sure you'll enjoy it. You got this.